Hey guys, my name is Bob, I'm the Internet Prime, and today we're going to make this thing called bulgogi. Sounds weird, right? So, it's a Korean dish, it literally means fire meat. And I grew up eating this, and it's so good, and I found a very, very, very simple way to minimize the ingredients from 20 plus to about 8 or 9. And we're going to dive in today, and by the end of this content, you're going to learn how to make a Korean dish, and you can make it in your truck with no problem. So let's dive into it. So first, you need a very, very, very uh, thin sliced beef. So you can use other types of red meats, you know, like venison or any other types. But beef kind of works the best in my personal thoughts. So for this own, uh, if you go to DHF website, we have the recipe for this. And for that recipe, you need about uh, 1.5 or 2 uh, pounds of meat. And you're going to freeze it in the, in the freezer for about 20 slash 25, 30 minutes to make it a little bit more firm, so it's easier to cut. So once that meat is chopped, we're going to make this marinade sauce here in this jar. So the reason why I'm doing it in this jar is a lot easier to take it with us. It's very portable and it's space wise, you know, it's easier to put it in your fridge and take it out and use it for your own preference outside bulgogi only. So first we have two soy sauce types here. One regular one that you're going to see at Walmart and second one, so Rachel, the dietitian here, uh, she kind of got me in, into this. This is called coconut amino. So this amino, so it's kind of like soy sauce, but it's going to have more of a sugary texture to it and way less sodium. Literally about like less than a half as in this one bottle compared to this bottle. So for those people who are, who have heart disease, who need to go a little bit low on your sodium intake, probably coconut amino is going to be a better option than soy sauce. But to also carry that oriental texture and richness and flavor to the dish, I try to do half and half and it, in our trial, it worked out perfect. So it'll be just fine. So you're gonna be, this is about a half cup. So I'm gonna put half of, half of soy sauce and half of coconut aminos. And this is gonna go straight into your, your jar. And since you put more of a salty stuff, now you're gonna put a little bit more of a sugar thing. Again, coconut amino's got some sugar in it already. It's not super high, but it's got this sweetness, that natural sweet flavor from coconut. So you're gonna put honey. And in our trial, we put a, about a half cup as well. But I'm gonna do a little bit less than a half cup because last time I tried this, I made this with Rachel. It was actually pretty sweet and pretty good. And I'm like, hmm, this can be less sweet. So I'm gonna put about a three fourth of the half cup and I'm gonna use spoon to scrape it. So if you want to use any other like brown sugar option, those are great. But you know, honey tend to have that positive connotation where it just tastes better. And even, you know, if you feel kind of better if you use honey instead of sugar. So uh, you can do this way or you can go back and use your brown sugar or any type of sugar that you prefer. Just make sure the ratio wise is about one to one with soy sauce and sugar. And to kind of help you with um, alleviate that sugar heaviness, I'm going to use this matz. You can get this at Walmart. It is no sugar added applesauce. And you're going to add about half cup in this jar as well. And if does not come out well, you can also use your spoon to scrape it. And now we have all this sweet and salty flavor in here. And now we're going to use actual ingredients that's going to really bring up the Asian texture. So you're going to use about a teaspoon of garlic and onion powder. Typically what people do, you can kind of give it a little generous amount. I would say two teaspoons and same thing with ginger. And people normally in Korea, they use a blender to blend onions and garlic 
and all that stuff and legit fruit in a blender and put it put it in but i was like well truckers don't have that capacity so let's find another way to do it and i think the powders work just fine so after that we're gonna use uh i would say a few drops of soy sauce a few drops of it and to be honest that's about it if you're gonna just close the lid and I'm just gonna shake it And here you have your perfect marinade sauce and we're gonna jump into the actual cooking content. Let's go. The vegetables that I chose today, we got some uh, chopped carrots, pre-chopped carrot at Walmart. And we got some green onions and also just white onions to add some little bit more of that good um, oriental flavors to it. So let's do this. So we're gonna use one simple ingredient here, appliance actually, sorry. Uh, you're gonna put it on medium high and while you are doing that I'm gonna chop the onions so and once I've chopped this onions I need oil thank you so I'm gonna just gently spray it and put this in the pan so after you added your onion to your pan you're gonna add this pre-chopped carrots in it as well. Um, so here's a little tip. If you want to pre-season this, you can choose to put this in this bag with meat, but I kind of like think that onions and carrots need more time to be cooked than beef itself because they tend to get really easily cooked at a fast pace. But onions and carrots, I don't really find them you know, getting cooked super fast as well. So I would just cook them separately. But every once in a while, I would try this method where you guys can do this as well. You can kind of give a little drip of that sauce just for those vegetables to have that flavor when you just have the vegetable itself on their own. So after the onions and carrots are well cooked, kind of midway I would say, you're gonna add beef to it. So we're gonna wait. And while we're waiting, I'm just gonna make some little garnish with this green onions. So if you want to feel you know, pretty good about your, yourself, that you're eating some kind of a decent, decent meal, it's a good idea to have these kind of a spring, sprinkles, you know, where you can kind of enjoy some of a really rich vibe of the oriental food. So this is actually pretty well cooked, halfway done. So I'm gonna use the beef, I'm gonna put it just right in here. So once you got meat and your onions and your carrots in here, you're just gonna gently mix them up. And that's gonna take about like five-ish minutes just to do this. And good way to use this marinated sauce is not only for bulgogi, but also just different ways. Like when you make fried rice or when you make other types of meat, uh, like barbecue meat, you can add this sauce to marinate that and it's gonna bring really good Asian flavor or Korean flavor, I would say. And it's gonna really enhance the, your cooking skills and your cooking journey as you try to cook more. And I just try to narrow it down to about 10 main ingredients to bring up the Korean flavor to the really surface of the ocean. And this cuisine, really opened my eyes towards like, oh, you don't have to have like 20 plus menu or ingredients to bring the Asian flavor to your dining table. So this worked out perfectly. And once you are done with this, you can use either, you can make your rice, you can choose a brown rice or quinoa, any kind of those whole grains. You know, we're all about complex carbs, right? So we can use that or we can use like some kind of a different wrap, enjoy your meal in that way. And this is the one recipe portion is going to give you about three or four servings. And so this is gonna be a good way to enjoy your lunch and even have it till the next day and just put it in the microwave or just like this, just reheat it on the surface hot stove and you can enjoy your meal that day and make it quick so you can be on your road and do your task again. So after this is about done, I'm gonna just put all my 
garnish here just to make it more extra fancy. And here we go. That's what we have at the end of it. And you serve it on your plate or bowl with your favorite kinds of carbs and enjoy your meal today. So be safe out there. See you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you guys got more questions or info if you need it, you can go to this website and go to the recipe tab and you can find all the information you would need. And if you have more questions, you want to come and see us face to face, we have Rachel Dreer, the RD here, the dietitian, and she will help you uh, find more uh, actual goals that you can set for yourself and achieve those health goals. So thank you guys, enjoy your day and have a good one. Bye.